Line Kitchen at Advantage Appliance. Um, Daryl Matthews from the Fire Pit is here. Cheese Wit. Cheese Whiz? Cheese, no, well, I tried to be well, like a Philadelphian here. Oh, okay. Cheese Whiz, that's how you got to order at Pat's or Gino's. That's true. So, that's okay, true. you do know that. Okay, so <laughs> Cheese Whiz, that's what we like to order here. But I like what Daryl's doing here, cheese steak wise. So, what are we calling ours? Burnt in. So, we got the burnt in Philly cheese steak. Okay. So yes. it's got the onions though, so that accounts yep. for that. Got I don't see onions. Whiz cheese though. No, 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 I didn't okay. do it. I got to remember we're still in North Dakota, so, <laughs> you know. Fair. Yeah, I think the North Dakotans be like, what did you just say? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so uh, where do we start here? You've been busy all so, morning. Yep, we're just working on some uh, peppers and onions over here. <laughs> a little bit, of, little bit of garlic, so we got those sliced up nice and thin mm -hmm. uh, for the uh, Philly there. I put a little bit of garlic in there. Love it. Um, so we got those sauteing. I think we're going to go ahead and get the aioli mm -hmm. here. So we do ours a little bit different. I got a little horseradish there. Horseradish is new, right? There's yes. not Okay. Yep. Yes. That's not typical. That's not all. typical. Yep. So we got a little horseradish, a little. A lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little lot. Sour cream. <laughs> sour cream. <laughs> and some mayo. Okay. Let's go some mayo. So this is all the goods. So, yep, we're going to do that. I'm going to do a little pepper. This isn't replacing the cheese. It's not replacing okay, the cheese. Okay, nope, making is, sure. We're still got know, cheese steak standards here. <laughs> some people like mayo. I don't like just basic mayo. Yeah, no, It's got to be a little bit agree. better. So we're going to squeeze a little lemon in there. Mm -hmm. No seeds. No seeds, hopefully. <laughs> it's always a challenge, isn't it? <laughs> oh, even if you use the little juicer thing, you're still yes. getting seeds. I have oh. one, and I still find myself using my hand. Oh, and that takes strength. Some lemons are a little bit, uh, what do you call it, just squishy, what do you call them, more? Yeah, a little uh, softer. Softer, I, I don't know, some are harder than others. We'll get the wording yeah. later. <laughs> <laughs> we try around here. <laughs> so we're just gonna mix that up there. Yep, and So it. And that's the mayo that we're gonna use. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna step over, we're gonna slice those burnt ends. Let's do it. I'm gonna cut that right down there. Oh. So the good thing about this is that you get that nice smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. Let's turn those onions off over there. Yeah. Because you need still, you don't want to make them crispy per se. Just a little bit of black, I want to say, yep. caramelized a little bit. Yep. Okay. So well, hold on here. What's the definition of the brisket versus the burnt ends? Is this only burnt ends? So because, it's all brisket. Yep. But this top piece here, the sides, mm -hmm. where you get that uh, bark, yep. is going to be your burnt ends. Okay. So we're going to saute those a little bit. Just lightly. We don't want to lose that smokiness. So I'm going to mix those onions and peppers in right there. Just enough to really heat up the meat again. Just to heat up okay. the meat again. Yep, yep. Now we do this a little bit different, but since we're here today, uh, we do it on our flat top in the store. Mm -hmm. So a little so bit. So that oiled up bun. Mm -hmm. You did preheat that. that already. I did preheat yep. these. So it's not a cold bun. No, yeah. not a cold bun. And then you also drizzled it with but it's a nice and soft. Uh, fancy spicy oil. Yes. So okay. we put a little bit of oil from Carmen's Kitchen. We love Carmen. Carmen, man, we love her. <laughs> so we're just gonna take some cheese, right? Oh, okay. So you're and not gonna putting do it on this the bread. Way. Okay. So I'm seeing the difference here already. So you're seeing that? Mm-hmm. I got potatoes. some potatoes back. You gotta have a side item oh, with yeah. it, right? French fries. You gotta have a side item. You know that's funny here. That's good. let's talk about the rest of the country and what they eat. So. I feel like here, North Dakotans love pizza and breadsticks. I grew up always with pizza and french fries, so I always have to have some potatoes. I uh, well, I don't know. You know, I I like a little bit of both. Okay. I'm, okay. You know, I'm a fat kid at heart, so that's just the way it goes. I mean, it's okay. We, we all love to eat, right? Absolutely. So, um, so again, we do it a little bit differently in the store, but we're using a flat top. Oh, man. But that burnt in Philly cheesesteak. Yes. We'll sit that bad boy right there for you. Yep, yep. I'm going to get a bowl because you got to get some potatoes with it. You like your potatoes. <laughs> yes, let's do the potatoes. <laughs> Lee, the photographer, he just went, oh, <laughs> he totally missed the plating of it. I mean, do we see all the burnt ends on here with the onions, the aioli? Can't forget about that. Um, is this the size that you would serve at yes, the fire pit? That okay. is the size. So what is this? About eight it serves so? one person. As it's it not says. a two person sandwich. Two people trying to eat it is going to cause a fight. Does it? Yes. <laughs> and there's no cutting this up. You have to just dig in. That's dig the rule in. of a cheesesteak. And if you come to my place, I'm not giving you a fork for it. Yes. That's just well, the rule. Nope, I totally no agree with that one. I'm a little concerned on how to eat this though on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie here, Daryl. Um, well, I don't know where to start. 
Ugh, I feel rude, like, just... It's just okay. pick it up and go. I know. Pick it up and go. You'll be fine. This might be ugly, guys. <laughs> Show them how you eat a Philly. Well, the part that I was going to eat fell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. There you go. Daryl. Wow. That's amazing. That has every flavor you can think of. Absolutely. And, oh, man. Okay, I do need this second. I'm just going to pick at it now. Because everything's coated in there grease, you go. but that's what a cheesesteak is. Absolutely. Do right. um, you have those in the store all the time, in the restaurant? So, we're just kicking these off, so starting tomorrow, oh, okay. you can come and get it. You know, today is uh, Shrimp Boil Thursday. Okay. Um, so, we have some shrimp boils today, but starting tomorrow, those will be on the menu. Oh, we love it. All right, well, where can we find the fire pit? 307 North 3rd Street. You can follow us on Facebook for updates and features. And if I'm not mistaken, you kind of just put some Parmesan on the fries and... A little Parmesan oh. and some house seasoning. Absolutely. Darryl, and once again, you outdid yourself. We can't wait to have you back here. See Thank what else you, you do. Thanks, Daryl. We appreciate it. Once again, in the Z-Line Kitchen, that